What is up YouTube? Today is motor day. I am going to go pull a motor from the junkyard and we will see. I don't know. I, it's, you guys will be in for a treat. It's not what I said it was going to be in my first video, but I will show you what it is here in a little bit. We are going to take the 335i in its frosted glory. <laughs> But we're gonna go get this engine from the good old pull apart, pick apart the junkyard. Well, we are here, and I'm not entirely sure if this engine's here or not. Hopefully, it hasn't been pulled yet. It's kind of rare for these engines to show up here. So we'll find out. Uh, if not, I have alternatives. I'd prefer to get this very specific engine. They're just kind of hard to, like, they don't show up very often, you know? So let's see if we get lucky here and get a complete engine. All right, here we are. We have found our engine. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's actually still okay because it's still the same engine just doesn't have the head I want but that's that's not a problem I can't fix you know so here it is in all of its glory I know I know it's a front-wheel drive Honda Accord but that's okay because boost and internals everything's cheap on this engine so I don't know I think we can have some good fun with this setup I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's a good idea. <laughs> and everyone does an LS swap. I guess everyone's starting to do K-Series, but that's okay. Because K. I don't know. It's ready to come out. Let's do this.
All right, K24A4, here we come. In all of its grimy glory. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. That's just from power steering. It's been well maintained. Oil's clean on it. Crank turns over. Good compression, as at least as far as feel. It's a great motor, I think. Looks relatively clean in there. I think it'll be a great contender. So yeah, let's get this back home and we'll kind of clean it up, strip it apart, and we'll get it prepared for that rear wheel drive E30. The engine is back. It is now here. I am happy to finally get it out of my car. It's been sitting in the trunk of my car. I should have filmed it. Sorry guys, I didn't. It's kind of been a pain. We, my dad came over and helped me <laughs> because I don't have a uh, hoist yet, so that's a, that's an issue. So yeah, uh, we hoisted it out of the back of my E90, which does it does fit in there with no intake and exhaust manifold and no power steering pump. So for those wondering if you can use your E90 as a truck, yes you can. <laughs> don't recommend it. I broke a bunch of connectors and <laughs> but so it's here. It's here. We uh, it's snowing now. It wasn't snowing when I pulled the engine, but. Yeah, we dragged it all the way in here with the, uh, I threw it on my shovel and <laughs> used the shovel as a sled. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, real problems, real problems. Building a car, don't have the proper tools. That will change, I promise. But, doesn't matter. The engine is here now. Thanks to my dad, I'm, I'm happy he was able to help me pull it, or pull it out of my car my buddy Austin shout out to you he uh, he sacrificed his Saturday and helped me pull this which I greatly appreciate it and uh, yeah it's Wednesday now it's new it's the new year happy 2020 this is our k24 I was hoping to get a uh, k24 a2 unfortunately the yard, when I went into the yard, that motor was already pulled out of that TSX. So I ended up having to pull a, the only, this is the only K-Series there, go figure. People like their K-Series, obviously. I mean, I do, I love K-Series. But this is our, this is our only K-Series we had available. There's no CRVs, there's nothing. And I was like, I'm just gonna jump on it. From everything I could tell, the motor is clean. Never mind the mess. Um, I mean, obviously it's a little dirty, go figure, but for the most part, everything seemed clean. We're going to pop this open, kind of look through everything, look at the, the valve train, make sure it's good. I'll show you that it cranks over, I mean, by hand. It has good compression, at least the way it feels to me. Well, I, I'd like to do a full compression test, don't have a way to do that, really, <laughs> but... But yeah, I mean, it's all here. I have a stand. It'll go on the stand eventually. <laughs> I need to get a hoist. Uh, that's <laughs> next video, I promise. Or at least I hope. Nah, it'll be the next video. I need it. <sighs> I'm gonna be wrecked fitting this in that car so many times. But yeah, see, this is why you don't use your E90 as a trunk, or as a truck. But yeah. I think she'll do. We'll do a head swap on her. Some TSX rods and pistons so we can run K20A2 head or a VTEC killer combo. We'll go through it. We'll go through it. It needs it needs a lot of attention. We'll go through. We'll replace the, the oil pump with a Type S RSX. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how to build a harness because that needs to happen. This is this is a disaster. So yeah, we're gonna we'll be going through all this. Uh, <laughs> when I got to the yard, someone had already made their way with this. I, I cut up some of the stuff, cut out some of the cut off some of the connectors for the auto trans that this is hooked up to, and. Uh, so, but we'll be going through it. We'll be pairing it up to an RSX ECU. So 
Sorry if I sound congested. <laughs> I am uh, freezing. It is snowing. Uh, lightly snowing. It's been snowing all day. But... For those that don't know, I am a fabricator. That's my actual job title. I don't do this for a living right now. It'd be nice, but you know, <laughs> this is what I got. My my little shed. Anyone need a uh, a uh, D16? Uh, I think it's a non hydro carbon synchro gear stack from uh, Synchro Tech. <laughs> Anyone need one, let me know. But yeah, yeah, this is it. We'll be, uh, I'll show you this. We'll go through it real quick, and yeah, this is what's gonna happen. <sighs> Sorry for shaky footage, this is just what I got to work with. I tried to get something to use for this channel. I got like a little tripod deal. Helps me hold the camera a little bit better because I'm just using a phone. Maybe as these videos progress, I'll come through and I'll get some nicer equipment. We will be using the Honda K24 uh, power steering pump, by the way. So yes, that is a thing. We will, I'll show you an adaptation to BMW power steering systems and everything because I want that. That's something I want to keep. AC I'm not keeping. But why are there missing bolts? I, I, I don't know. But whatever. It doesn't matter. I have lots of K-series coils from, from other projects. So that's, that's what we got. So we get, we're good on coils for days. I know these coils are good. Well, I don't know about these ones in particular, but I know K-Series coils are great for any boost applications, which we are running. Working on my filming. I hope you guys are patient with me. <laughs> I mean, I guess everyone who's watching these videos at this time are friends and family, but yeah, I won't. I'm hoping that grows. We'll see. This is just kind of like, I wanted to do this. I've never really had a channel. I, I started to a long time ago, and then I didn't take any more time for it. I did save this harness because I want to go through it, and I will show you guys how to build the harness because I'm broke. Well, not broke, but this is a full budget build. I mean, as budget as a full engine swap can be. <laughs> I, this is what I do. I don't know. I have a kid and wife and, and a really busy work schedule. So we'll film what I can and I'll show you guys what I can, you know? Pull the dipstick out. Let's see here. Let's see here. Where are the prying points on you? Get this valve cover off, hopefully. All right, here we go. Ooh, she is actually pretty clean. Looks like it's been actually changed quite often. I have no idea the mileage on this motor. Obviously, it's got the lame, 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 lame ahead. Oh well. Yeah. Got a little bit of wear on that one, but that's not too bad. Oh, that's she needs cams, boys and girls. Her buddy. That's not pretty. <laughs> oh boy. That's gotten some wear on it. Well though. How's that look? Yeah, it wasn't look too bad, but that's that's not pretty. She's got some wear on these. <laughs> Wouldn't say it's great on that one. That one's scary, actually. This one's got a little bit, not terrible. But for the most part, I mean, it's really clean in here. I didn't, first glances, I didn't see any shavings or anything. I mean, I'm going to be doing a cam swap at least. 
if not a full head swap. I'd like to do a full head swap and just get the proper head, you know, full VTEC, not this, this economy crap. <laughs> We're not going for economy here, but yeah, we'll, we'll either keep this head, just do a VTEC killer or, or maybe we'll, we'll swap this out for K or a, a yeah. K24 A1 head off of the CRV. I understand they're pretty close to a RSX head, so I don't know. I mean, this is all trial and error for me. This is, I've done B series and D series for quite a while now, but this is, this is my first K. And everyone loves Ks, you know. Rear wheel drive K is the thing right now, and you know what? I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon and rock it, you know? That's. That's what I'd like to do. Yeah, I think it just sat for too long. I don't know, that wear is just, it's like corroded there. I don't know how else that would happen otherwise. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, even with that, everything looks really clean, which I am very happy with because, yeah, I mean, that's what I need. I need a good engine. Got our trusty 19 millimeter. Let's uh, let's spin this over. Ooh, compression. Oh yeah, I mean it's got. I can feel that compression. That's some serious compression. I need to get a GoPro with like a chest or head mount. This is this is shaky film work, guys. Sorry. Hopefully I fix a lot of this in editing. <laughs> but honestly, besides that sad little cam lobe on these factory crappy cams, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, We'll do a cam swap at least with some RSX Type S or TSX cams. Hopefully the whole head because I don't want to deal with this. VTEC killer or full VTEC. One of the two. Either or. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I just want to make some power and ride that K-Series train. So, yeah. I mean, this is it. <laughs> This is my uh, $240 K24, so this is what you get for $240, I guess. I mean, that's I feel like that's a pretty good deal for a K24. A motor. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a good setup. I think it'll work. So, not an LS. I think that's okay. <laughs> I know I said LS, but we're not going to we're not going to do that. I think this would be way more fun. I think this is what we should do. <laughs> Plus, come on. E30 that weighs nothing. Engine that weighs nothing. I know LSs are light, but this is way lighter. And that engine bay clearance for days, though. And I don't have to worry about brake booster deleting and all this nonsense with, uh, with steering linkages. And it gets kind of messy, you know? You start doing some of these bigger engines in these little tiny cars. It just doesn't work. But this is it. This is it. This is the setup. And sorry about that. That's that's the noise. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the noise. And over here around my kid's playhouse. <laughs> that's the E30. Ah! <laughs> and yeah, that's what we got. This is what we're working with. So Yep. I hope you uh, subscribe and continue watching my videos. We'll see how this goes. This is this is a project. I mean, I've never done a front wheel to rear wheel drive conversion, but I think this will be fun. Oil pickups and all that fun stuff. Custom pans, custom everything. Let's go. <laughs>